some early damage on him. Oh wow, I'm literally doing nothing. Oh my, okay. That takes a lot of hits. Oh no! Oh, move Link, move Link! Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Bro, those goats. <laughs> those goats just got struck by lightning. What the heck? <laughs> Bro, they were literally smoking. What the heck? What's going on, guys? My name is Vlusel, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, part 10. In the last episode, we uh, helped out with Impa with uh, one of the geoglyphs and actually recovered a memory of where Princess Zelda might be. And so I was right. She went back in time. And so uh, that is one major thing we learned about in the last episode. And besides that, we just did a little, uh, a little exploring around. But for this episode... I'm starting right here by Addison, just to uh, help him out real quick. And so right after that, we will head on our uh, the proper path, because uh, last time we were heading down this path. And so we'll head down this path that leads to Rito Village. So let me head and uh, help him out real quick. I got you, homie. Nice. One more thing I do want to mention is that once we do help out with Rito Village, I do want to come back to the Skyview Tower because it seems like all Skyview Towers launch you uh, all at, at the height, like the max height you can go to. And so we, we were able to head up to uh, above that Sky Island right there. And that one is especially piquing my interest. It's formation. It just looks really interesting. So I'd love to come back to that Skyview Tower and uh, see what that's all about. Oh man, I missed how... I just miss the peaceful rise I used to have in Breath of the Wild with this beautiful, the writing music in the background. It's just, you like, you can't get any better than this, man. It really couldn't. It's just so beautiful. Well, we got a guy here fighting off a goblin. Might as well do a little help. Man. Oh my god. Nice. Alright, I'm pretty sure this guy should give me something. Here, this is one of my favorite foods. All right, thank you, man. I wonder, uh, this is the Tabantha, yeah, Ludfo's Bog. And if I remember correctly, this was Thundra Plateau, right? Let's see real quick. Let's see. We have time. Ooh, and we have a Hinox here. Okay. So yeah, Thundra Plateau is here. And uh, some of you might remember from Breath of the Wild, this is a Zonai Ruin too. So now I guess everything starts to make sense now with uh, from last game. Why these Zonai ruins and the Sheikah shrines were so interconnected. And that's because Zonai and Hylians were the founders of Hyrule. And so now everything's just starting to make sense. Okay, that just clicked for me. All right, let's go ahead and deal with this uh, Hinox stuff. Get a little action in the beginning of the episode. Get some early damage on him. Oh wow, I'm literally doing nothing. Let's go ahead and burn his little ankle guard. Got him. Nice. Nice push up. Sit down, big fella. Let's keep on rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Go on, hit him with the bomb flower. Nice. There we go. Oh my god. That was close. Oh. Alright, let's try out this dazzle fruit. Throwing flashbang. Oh, nice. Okay. So it is like a flash bang. Flash bang. Flash bang. Alright, this one should be the one. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we got him. There we go. Alright, let's see what he drops. He's got something on his horn, too. Oh, nice. Okay, the toenails have seven fuse attack power. Okay. And he had a Hinox horn. Twelve fuse attack power. Wow, okay. All right, so here we are. I kind of just want to see if anything has uh, changed here. I want to see if, like, maybe we can see a remnants of a shrine. A Sheikah shrine, that is. Oh, okay. I wonder I wonder if they'll give an explanation as to why the Sheikah technology is, like, no longer here. Like, it's just gone. There was a shrine literally right here. It's crazy, man. It's crazy to think about. Oh, nice. Okay, so it does work. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I forgot what episode what, uh, it was, but I had attached a dazzle fruit onto the shield. And so if they do attack it, it does act as a flashbang. It's 
really good to know. All right, so I'm back on basically the main path, and we do have a shrine up ahead. I'll make sure to uh, hit that shrine once we pass it up. Wow, look at that camp. What the heck is that guy holding? <laughs> Yo, hold up. We gotta check that out. Okay, here we are. A stormless camp. Oh god, he sees us. And all right, well, there goes my plan. Okay, that was a big... Okay, it's a big boss problem. That's what it was. I see. Okay, so they're all going back inside. Yeah, I, I managed to lose... Uh... They're... Oh god. Must have been nothing. All right, so they're just chilling. Big Papa's chilling. I want that freaking spike ball, man. Uh, let's see. What's the best way to approach this? I think for I think the best way to do this would just be to, uh, I guess, lob a few bomb flowers down there. This is big brain time. Let's hold two, and I think you can press down on the D-pad. Yeah, and you throw them farther. Okay. Let's move up slowly. Uh, where are these gonna land? They're gonna land over there. So a brown here. Let's toss them. Perfect. Let's fly over here. Got a fire fruit on. I don't know if this will kill us, but you know what? Let's do it. Screw it. Uh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. Boom. Nice. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, they, they all didn't freaking die. God, that reach is insane. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. This guy takes a lot of hits. Oh, Lord. Oh, move, Link. Move, Link. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, so I'm back at this uh, camp, and so I managed to infiltrate without being spotted, and we have a lot of freaking bomb barrels here at the top floor, and so I was thinking of trying to use, uh, I forgot we have plenty of other items, and so we have the uh, Dazzle Fruit, which is our flashbang, we have this Puff Shroom, I still don't know what it does, but we also have Muddle Bud, and it'll confuse the enemies, and so they'll start attacking each other. So first off, let me go ahead and drop all these bomb barrels together. All right, if this doesn't kill them, I don't know what will. So I don't know if these will blow up as soon as they drop. But let's see. Let's put them down below. Nice. There we go. Nice. There we go. We got this thing. We got this thing. Let's go ahead and try out this puff shroom. Nice. Okay. So it does like mess them up. Oh, he can't see. I see. Okay. Okay. Holy crap! Okay, so it's like a smoke screen. I see, dude. I love all these new items. Okay, so we got more of his stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, dude, the devs have some nice items, man. We gotta watch out for more of those, more of those uh, puff shrooms. I, I haven't gotten to use the uh, the muddle bloom. I think it's called. Oh no, the the muddle bud. Holy crap! Okay, puff shroom. We need to use these when there's a large group of enemies. Okay, so even if you're like right in front of them, they don't even see you. It's really, really good to know. All right, so we're uh, nearing up on this shrine, and there's a stable here too. So let me go ahead and, uh, <laughs> and there's a Korok there. Let me go ahead and rest up real quick. Well, I think we'll get a pony point for that too, which might get us a harness. And so let me go ahead and rest up, and then we'll hit that uh, shrine. This is the Tabantha Bridge Stable. Whoa, okay, here we go. Talking to this guy in the stable, and there's this interesting painting, and he says, reports say this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Hmm. It's been that talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. Oh, could this be referencing that creature from uh, the teaser trailer? From the 2019 trailer? I was wondering where that beast would be. This might be it. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? Alright, cool. So maybe, maybe that animal is in the game. Nice. Okay, we got one pony point. Ooh. And we have a harness available, I think. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step to the side counter where I keep the ledger, and call me over. Alright, so yeah, let's uh, rest up, and then we will get that reward and hit the shrine. And of course, it just had to be a freaking lightning oh. storm. <laughs> Alright, yeah, good morning indeed. That's right, if you do intend to go north to Hebra, I recommend that you take precautions against the cold. Hebra has always been a chilly region, but ever since the recent extreme cold snap, they don't even have enough to eat. That Rito outside Bidoli actually came down here from Rito Village to stock up on food. Alright, so yeah, we just keep on hearing worse and worse things about Rito Village. And I'm sure other regions across the map are 
feeling some same uh are feeling some uh what, what what am i trying to say all right so let's go ahead and get this reward you'd like to get your pointy points reward right your reward for three points is a towing harness oh nice okay a durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow okay so we can uh tow other objects okay i wonder mm -hmm. what else we should be able to tow okay so i guess i'm trying to think what like what i oh god Oh my god, bro, those goats, <laughs> those goats just got struck by lightning, what the heck? <laughs> bro, they were literally smoking, what the heck? Okay, so I'm here at the uh, stable manager, and we can customize a horse. Since you're here, would you like to equip your horse with a towing harness? Um, you know what, yeah, there is a carriage near that uh, Korok by the stable. Let's see what's the, uh, what this is all about. Oh. Harness attached. If you attach a harness to a stable wagon, you can transport bulky materials. Ooh. Yeah, man, it looks great. Oh. Alright, so yeah, there is a carriage right over here. I'm wondering if this will de- I mean, it probably will, but let's see what this is like. So, we stop over here, and then back up. Alright, let's see. This should be close enough. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's attach it like this. Nice! Oh, what? What? Okay, there we go. I guess you can't attach it on the side there, but uh, that should work. I wonder what I can transport in it, though. Oh, maybe I can, uh, yeah. Oh, you good? It's okay. Here, take an apple. Here, eat up. Oh, you, you didn't even eat it. Dude, come on. You're embarrassing me. All right, so yeah, we could maybe, like, if we come across uh, some spare parts out in the world, we can probably pick it up with uh, Kaze here. So let's see. We got the carriage. And we can go full speed. Okay, nice, dude. Yo, this is sick. Awesome, okay. All right, so here we are at um, Makuruki's shrine. Let's go ahead and do this shrine and we'll be on our way. I don't think there's any, uh, yeah, none of those NPCs had a side quest at this table. So let's just go ahead and complete the shrine. All right, combat training, archery, okay. Cool, we got different uh, types of combat training. I wonder if this will be a tutorial. All right. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. All right, so it is a tutorial. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Alright, should be easy. Perfect! Well done. Oh wow, okay. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Alright. Oh nice, there we go, that's it. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. All right, quick and easy shrine. I'll take it. All right, let's go ahead and receive our light of blessing from the shrine. Nice. That's our fifth one. I uh, just need to find out where these goddess statues are. There, I, I don't remember there one actually being in uh, Lookout Landing. Might have to go back there and check. Alright, so that's one shrine down for this episode. Uh, what I'm, So while I was doing that shrine, uh, what I'm thinking is we've spent two episodes traveling, trying to get to Rito Village. And so that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of time and, you know, unnecessary just me wandering around without anything i mean actually you know what major things did happen and so because i was about to say maybe i should just travel on my own time and you know do these shrines and do because i can do more stuff that i want to do you know without wasting time for an episode and so 
What? My, my carriage is gone. What? Well, <laughs> all right, I'll just take this off. But uh, so, yeah, like on my own time, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would, you know, be doing my own thing, going to other islands in the sky, whatever, you know, just doing more than what I'm able to do now. But since I'm just remembering, you know, like last episode, we did, uh, what was it called? Yeah, last episode, we did the geoglyph. And that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't recording. And so, you know, it's just, it's okay. I, this series, I, I've already expected this series to be super long. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing that this series will be incredibly long because of all this traveling and just everything to do. But you know what? I'm, I'm down for it. It's just going to be a lot of work on my end to keep on editing. And especially since I just want to keep on playing, but I'm, I'm all up for it to show you guys everything in my adventure let's go ahead and get a move on we still got a little bit of time left in the episode i'll uh start traveling and uh oh what you got what the heck is that it's a golden apple a rare very sweet fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it sometimes found your normal apples <laughs> all right cool but uh let's see let's take a look at the map see so, yeah, we're about to cross this bridge for the ravine and so uh whenever i hit the time limit i'll let you guys know and we'll end it off there Oh, here we go. I'm in the uh, well under this uh, stable we were at. Mm -hmm. This lady has a side quest. Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright caps, present. All right, that's everything all jotted down. Uh? Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Yeah, of course. Ma? I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells too. Wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. What? My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Huh. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations, but if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me any well locations you know of? Oh. I'll reward you, of course. Hmm. How does 10 rupees per location sound? Yeah, you've got a deal. I've actually found a few. Really, that's fantastic. All right, then tell me everything. Yeah, tell him, Link. Ma! Tell him how it is. Thanks, so five of them this time. Nice, that's 50 rupees. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all of these wells. Let's see, how many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 53 to find. Ah. You can find wells all over the place, in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells. Those used in the distant past exist within ruins. Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? Oh, I'm going to look I'm going to look out landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Alright. Okay, so it looks like wells are a co collectible as well. So we'll meet her at Lookout Landing, and I didn't even know there was a well there. But that's cool actually, we get some money, at least. Alright guys, so I did plan, I know I said I would start traveling. I've said that for like the past two episodes now. And I mean, we sort of have, but we've made like little progress. I mean, we've, we've done some stuff, but yeah, we'll, we'll end it off here. But for sure, in the next episode, we will start traveling to Rito Village. And I'm sure I will get sidetracked in the next episode. But you know what? I, I'm up for it. I love finding all these new shrines. All these wells, side quests, I love doing that. And so I hope you guys don't mind me uh, doing as I, I said this. I said this in the beginning, man. I plan to do everything I can. I've waited. I've waited too long for this game to rush through it, and I'm not about to rush through it. And so with that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe for more videos just like this? Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.